Hello everyone, my name is Mo Yan Zhou from Group Lens Research at the University of Minnesota. Today, I want to present my work, Investigating Social Interaction Factors for Newcomer Retention in Wikipedia Tea House. Here's the overview for today's agenda. First, we're going to talk about motivation and research questions, then method. Next, findings and implications. We'll end with a question and answers. Newcomers are a very essential user group in online communities because they bring more diverse perspectives and also they fill in the gaps created by members who left the communities. Thus, it is very important for communities to retain newcomers. One way to retain newcomer is through socialization with more experienced members. And researchers have developed tools to promote social interactions between newcomers and more experienced members. For example, Wikipedia Tea House, um, as we're probably all familiar with it, is a social question and answer forum um, where a newcomer can come and ask a question and get answered. Uh, just to clarify, in our study, we define newcomer as those who post a question on the tea house within 30 days of their registration and make less than 100 contributions. So the screenshot on the right shows uh, one of the archives in tea house. Prior research has found that tea house benefit newcomer retention. Uh, specifically, um, tea house visitors actually are more likely to stay in Wikipedia. Uh, than those who didn't visit. Because newcomers uh, are engaged in social interactions with more experienced editors through question and response, so we're asking, do the response actually matter? How do the response affect newcomer retention? And in this talk, I'll focus on the second question. To answer the question, we perform a survival analysis. So Cox proportional hazard model tells the relationship between proposed independent variables and withdrawal in terms of risk or another word likelihood. And in our study, we define withdrawal of as 90 days of inactivity in across all Wikipedia namespaces. So the graph on the left is just to show that at the timeline of 90 days, uh, the red dots would be considered as those who actually withdraw and the red i mean the green ones would consider as those who survive so we hypothesized some variables here's the list and i want to focus on the sentiment look is a commonly used sentiment analysis instrument as it gives score to each of the following summary variables uh, tone shows the emotion, whether it is positive or negative. Analytic shows whether the writer has a little bit more logical or analytical thinking style. And authentic shows whether the writing is done in an honest or authentic way in self-presentation. And cloud just tells uh, the leadership or confidence level in writing. So we draw the Kaplan um, Miller curve, which tells us after newcomers ask their first questions on the tea house, 50% of them stayed after first day, and 20% of them stayed after a year, and 10% stay after three years and beyond. Here's the result from the survival analysis. And as you can see, each model has two columns. One of them is HR and another is p-value. Uh, so HR stands for hazard ratio, and HR larger than one uh, means that the risk of withdrawal increases as the independent variable increases. And HR less than one means the risk of withdrawal decreases um, as the independent variable increases. So what we want is um, we want the risk to, 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 to decrease. So we'll take two examples from this uh, table. One of them is sentiment of tone, and another is the number of policy. So how do we interpret the result? Um, as the standard deviation increased by one in tone, 
the likelihood of withdrawal decreased by 3.2%. And uh, in contrast, as the standard deviation increased by one in number of policies, that means the likelihood of withdrawal increased by 10%, 10.6%, which means actually we like tone to be higher and we, we don't want um, number of policy because it hurts um, retention. What do we learn? We learn that um, the answers that are more helpful would be those that avoid including policy in link, policy links in their answers. And it sounds more welcoming and positive and with more details or evidence. And also it's done in such a way where it sounds more casual and conversational. So the implication for more experienced editors is that make your answer like this. Other than solely rely on um, the more experienced editors, researcher and designer can also help uh, by um, building up uh, AI-powered writing system, which can automatically assist uh, the writing process. For example, make the whatever the uh, response more helpful or more um, welcoming, more uh, casual. So that would actually help. To conclude, I want to just end with one takeaway from this study, which is content and sentiment matter to newcomers on the tea house. And here's my reference uh, and welcome to ask me any questions regarding this uh, study.